you, it's not even about questioning your beliefs because your old beliefs aren't even there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you don't even have old beliefs to question. So it, it really is kind of like getting thrown off a cliff, but realizing that there's no ground that you're going to fall and hit. Now, on today's podcast, we are joined by James McRae. James McRae is a writer, a poet, a meme artist, all the above, but even more so, he is such a genuine and kind-hearted person. When I spoke with James, it was amazing, and he talked a lot about his book, which is Shit Your Ego Says, and he talked even more in depth about ego, about ayahuasca and plant medicines. He also talked about life in general and how he got to where he is today. Um... I had nothing else to do. I had nowhere else to go. So I just like said yes. And then we just like ended up living on this little island. And um, it was just funny because I was just completely alone. It was like this almost deserted island, like super small. And um, I was just completely alone with, with my own thoughts. And I felt like all my insecurities and like all my, you know, fears and self-doubt really came to the surface. Like it was a lot, it was kind of like a mental health check where it's like, I had nothing to distract me from what was the stories and narratives that were that were playing out in my own head. Mm -hmm. And um, it was kind of a funny situation where I, it, it took kind of being there, almost like the universe had put me in like a little bit of a timeout. And it took being there with my own thoughts um, for, for a long time to, to kind of like realize that these all, all, all of these fears and insecurities and self-doubt that I was having, these though that wasn't really me it was the it was the voice that i recognized as being the voice of my ego you know it's plant medicine and 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 and, and drugs are are two very different things 